La vida secreta del cerebro. Despierto para dormir y despierto con lentitud. Siento mi destino en lo que no puedo temer. Aprendo yendo a donde tengo que ir. Pensamos sintiendo qué hay que saber. Escucho mi ser danzando de oído en oído. Despierto para dormir y despierto con lentitud. Aprendo yendo a donde tengo que ir. El cerebro adulto, coronado por la corteza cerebral, una masa arrugada de tejido de solo una fracción de centímetro de espesor. Entre sus surcos se halla nuestro poder para razonar, juzgar, entender. Pero aún más adentro hay un mundo inconsciente, un cúmulo de estructuras que controla nuestros apetitos, estados de ánimo y emociones. For a long time, it was thought the brain was divided into two. Emotion was one thing and thought was something else. And these were two things that were interfering with each other. But it's now clear that this division was wrong, just completely wrong. highly choreographed, hardwired relationship between the thinking areas of the brain and the feeling areas of the brain. One affects the other at all times. It is not possible to have a properly working reason system without having a properly working emotion system. What you think, what you create, the problems you solve, the way you reason, don't exist in a vacuum, there is always the backdrop of emotion and feeling. We are not thinking machines, we are feeling machines that think. El cerebro adulto a través de la emoción. he suffered the stroke. It was just horrible. I just felt like I had totally lost my best friend. I wanted to bring him back to the person that he was, but, you know, in reality, I should have known I couldn't. The doctor said to me, the best thing to do is to actually have a funeral for Marvin, the one that you marry, and accept the Marvin that you brought home as a totally different person, because he'll never be the same. A los 56 años, Marvin Bateman es la sombra del padre y esposo que una vez fue. Un derrame cerebral paralizó la mitad de su cuerpo, pero el efecto más devastador es menos visible. Ha perdido completamente sus emociones.
How did that make you feel when we were watching it? Well, it's, um, uh, it's, it's, well, it's hard. I'm trying to think. It's like, I, I know you're working for a word, but I can't think of one no, right it's now. it's okay. En la Universidad de Iowa, los investigadores tratan de entender el por qué Marvin no es capaz de sentir una emoción tan simple como el miedo. Una tomografía muestra la región donde ha muerto el cerebro de Marvin. The core of the damage is in areas that have to do with creating a feeling. It's not that he has lost the ability to produce an emotion. The losses have more to do with the ability to feel the emotions that he produces. Can you remember, like, from this picture to that picture? Well, it what happened? It was a long time. Well, no, see, well, was in, we were still in the month up there. Yeah, I know. And then this is after I got moved on, and I had that stupid stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Emociones. Pueden verse en el rostro de Marvin una sonrisa, una risa, una mueca de frustración. Lo que no experimenta es la conciencia de su emoción. Las emociones son generadas por estructuras ocultas en lo profundo del cerebro. La minúscula amígdala con forma de nuez es la primera en reaccionar a un evento emocional, desencadenando una serie de reacciones instantáneas dentro del centro emocional del cerebro. Ondas de impulsos nerviosos viajan por el tallo cerebral, generando una respuesta inmediata a lo largo del cuerpo. Creating changes in posture and facial expression, altering the way the organs inside the body are working, preparing the body for what's needed next, generating chemical responses that you will never know existed. And all of this is what constitutes the emotional state. Para la mayoría de las personas, la conciencia de una emoción ocurre solo milisegundos luego de que es generada. El cuerpo envía señales al área del cerebro responsable de los pensamientos, haciéndonos tomar conciencia de nuestros sentimientos. Fue en esta región de conciencia emocional que el derrame cerebral de Marvin diezmó cientos de millones de células cerebrales. Marvin experimenta la emoción, su cuerpo responde. Pero cuando la respuesta física es comunicada a su cerebro pensante, la señal cae en un vacío. Marvin solo puede especular sobre lo que él o los demás están sintiendo. When you're married, there's an emotional connection between two people. That connection is no longer there. It's like somebody cut that wire between the two of us. If I try and talk to him, you know, about something that's bothering me or, um, well, I just need somebody to listen. He's just not there for me. There's no empathy or sympathy. He just can't get that feeling. And he knows it should come, but it just won't. This is the Chamonix Valley of the French Alps. Antes del derrame, Marvin era un exitoso vendedor de artículos de plomería en todo Iowa, pero en 23 años no ha podido trabajar. He was very ambitious, driven. No, he doesn't really want to make any decisions as far as anything important, you know. I couldn't make decisions like I thought I should, and I probably wouldn't, you know, make a decision about different things. I probably would have screwed stuff up because I didn't, when, uh, when for Arlene, we wouldn't be where we're at because I didn't make, you know, proper business decisions on the uh, house and any, any bills or anything like that because I just wasn't able to make decisions. 
Marvin tiene problemas para decidir por qué ha perdido la conexión emocional con su pasado. Los recuerdos y las emociones que nos acompañan guían cada una de nuestras decisiones. Pero para Marvin, los recuerdos están desligados de las emociones. All the things that you go through in your life in terms of decisions are inevitably accompanied by some kind of emotion, positive or negative. Each decision has some kind of similarity with a decision of the past. And when you are in a position to decide once again, you will call up an emotional memory that will appear as a gut feeling and will lead you in one direction or another. So what you have is a, literally a navigational aid, something that helps you get to the right decision. And if that is broken down, then you are at the mercy of facts and logic, and that's just not good enough. Marvin ha perdido su timón en su navegar por la vida cotidiana. But, um, I'm not an invalid. I'm not, uh, I'm not, some days probably people probably think I am, but I'm not, you know, I'm, not, I'm able to do a lot of things. I give everything up to have him back emotionally. We care about each other, you know, and I'll always love him. But I just miss the old Marvin. There's an old idea that emotion is not at all a good thing because it is difficult to control. But emotion is extremely useful. Emotion is not a luxury. Emotion is part and parcel of the mechanisms that allow us to stay alive. Los sentimientos parecen intangibles, intensamente subjetivos. Pero ahora, usando una nueva tecnología de imágenes, los científicos han demostrado que las emociones tienen un lugar físico en el cerebro. Ira. Alegría. Tristeza, miedo, a veces intensas, con frecuencia efímeras, cada una tiene un circuito neural específico que ha evolucionado a lo largo de cientos de millones de años. Why do we have these emotional states? What are they for? Well, they all serve a purpose. They're all adaptive. By having a feeling of emotion, you have a possibility of taking into account what happened and using that for the proper planning of future actions. If something caused happiness because it was something that was potentially good for you, having that feeling is going to help you organize your planning around the possibility of getting some more of that good thing that you had. Incluso las emociones perturbadoras como la ira o el miedo tienen un propósito. No one's life is free from stress, and when those stresses occur or problems arise, we have specific emotions that are part of our repertoire for a reason because they help us solve those important problems. Anger, for example, is a constellation package of brain responses that facilitates our ability to remove obstacles that are 